Well, so from 5 to 10 tonight, they're going to have the big festival. You can see they're already getting ready to set up right here. But you mentioned Sweetest Heart of Mary. It's really based on what they do inside this. This church is a place that brings everyone together, especially in the Polish culture. And we actually went over to the Polish Village Cafe in Hamtramck. They wheel in all their stuff to make sure that they can get the people fed this weekend. And we want to take you inside as part of our 7 in your neighborhood. Early in the morning, before a soul's awake outside. Inside this kitchen, it's already hopping. Watch out, hot tea. And language changes quickly from English yeah, just go yesterday, don't I? to Polish. For John Blaha, this place is home. One look around, and you feel like you're transported back to Poland. It's like being at your parents' house or being at your grandparents' house. It's like being, it's a throwback to your old culture. And that, you just come in and you smell it. You know, you can feel it. There's something special about this place. He's right. From the kitschy feel walking downstairs into this basement. You're making dinner. To the Polish lady showing up four hours before opening to get everything just right. <laughs> and I mean everything. From pancakes to schnitzel, everything is fresh. No microwave in sight. It's all flame, elbow grease, and family. No thanks. Is that enough? You like to argue because the more you argue, the better the food is. <laughs> Food's excellent. Service is excellent. The regulars have been coming for decades. Anywhere you like. But there's something else going on here. This place started as a boarding house in the 1900s. This kitchen was really a cafeteria that took on a different look before a man known as Doc Ted took it over in the 70s. Since then, it's been part of a family, part of his family. And Doc Ted is gone, but what he's created just brings back a lot of memories. Remains. Evo Grady hadn't been home in three years. Fresh off a flight from Texas, this is where she had to be. The atmosphere, we love the people. She said the food and the atmosphere, I can eat it out in the alley, it's good stuff. And after all that praise, Blaha didn't have to twist my arm. Zovia. Nazovia? Yeah, Nazitia. To give it a try. The farther, the farther the culture splits up, the more you want to bring culture in. And if you want to have that cultural experience, you come back here. I don't know if I can even transport you to the feeling that I had when I took my first bite of a pancake, the pierogi, the kielbasa. It's all so fantastic. It's all going to be out here. You know who else is going to be out here is Dave Rexroth at 5 and 6. We're broadcasting out here again, part of your 7 in your neighborhood. Every Friday, we're bringing our news right to you. You don't only watch this on TV, now you can actually come out and enjoy part of our newscast as well. We also have information at WXYZ.com. This is a three-day festival, so Friday tonight from 5 to 10, Saturday and Sunday, the fun kicks off at noon. We hope you guys can get a chance to come on out here and enjoy the pierogi festival. We're live on the east side of Detroit. Matthew Smith, 7 Action News. You know what, Matthew? Feel free to bring back any of uh, those treats. <laughs> Yes. I can smell my mom <laughs> cooking the Polish sausage in the kitchen right now. Oh, I love kielbasa. What a great story. Yeah. True story, guys. I, I have to let you know this, is that I ate and ate and ate, and I got done, and they started bringing me out more food, and I said, no, 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 I've had more than enough. They said, no, in Polish <laughs> culture, you haven't eaten anything yet. Oh they gosh, they feed you well. Got to ramp it up, Matthew. Yeah,